up their Oshawa Cup tournament against Richmond Hill. Here comes Sit with some nice moves, but Dylan Backer says you can sit right back down on the bench as he spoils that opportunity at in front of the net. Unfortunately for the Toros, Richmond Hill doesn't open up the scoring though as Kasser picks up the loose puck in the slot area and snaps it over the blocker of Backish to make it one nothing in favor of Richmond Hill Stars. Still first period, the Toros are just going to dump this one down the ice. Looks like a pretty casual save there. And try telling that to Sermis. He gets just enough of it. And it goes in behind him though. But it did not cross the line. He still stays at one nothing Richmond Hill. But not for long. Front. Here comes the opportunity for Smear to shoot it. And scores! William Smear short-handed. Finds the 5 hole, And we are tied at 1 at the Campus Arena. So in the second period, Will Schmier tied things up. And here he's going to give him the lead as he spins and turns and fires that one just inside the left post past Sermis to give the Toros a 2-1 to one lead. And as we go to the third, it's a lead the Toros would not relinquish. Ord gets it over there for Cohen Natinga with a snapshot to get it over the glove of Sermis to make it 3-1 to one on the power play. Then it's McKenna Blizzard with an opportunity. Right pad stop there from Sermis, but the rebound out of front goes to Nolan Ward who pokes it home. And now the Toros have a 4-1 to one lead. And now the final death nail to the Richmond Hill Stars in this game. And here comes Anthony Backish on a breakaway. He's going to snap it past the right pad of Sermis. And the Toros, three unanswered goals in the third, make them cruise to a 5-1 win to start the tournament. Also seeing action in this Oshawa Cup tournament are the minor Adam AA Toros. And they're going to open up the scoring game against Markham. Here comes Matthew Suter turning on the Jets in alone against Garvin and beats him high blocker to make it 1-0. Toros are all over Markham in the first period. Here comes Owen Bays with a wraparound, finding Sam Griffin sitting in front. Garvin gets a piece, but not enough as it squeaks into the back of the net, and the Toros get to take a 2 nothing lead to the second period. Al Mundy didn't have a lot of shots in the first period, but he's going to get one here, and it's an unfortunate break. A shot goes off the stick there of Jack Carley at in front and changes direction on Mundy, and it puts Markham on the board on the goal by McCunney Phillips to make it 2-1. to one. Still 2-1 Toros, but there's going to be a loose puck out in front of the net. Matthew Suter says, I'll take care of that. And he's going to spin and fire it past Garvin in the Markham net. And the Toros have their two-goal lead back at 3-1. But again, back comes Markham. They refuse to go away in this game. Labazo is going to bounce this puck from the side of the net in off Monday to cut the lead back to one again at 3-2. But yet again, it'll be Matthew Cedar helping his team increase the lead. It's going to be a wraparound, and he's going to beat Garvin to the other side to make it 4-2 to two now for the Toros. But this game was honestly like the Donald Trump of America. Every time you think you have things figured out, it changes. Zhang throws this one at the net. It's going to find its way past Monday somehow to make it 4-3. to three. Caleb Wilson would replace Monday just until the end of the second period, but before the end of the second, though, there's Shem going top shelf all over the right blocker of Wilson to tie things up at four to head to the third. And on the third, the scoreboard is about to read Markham up by one goal for the first time in the game. Labazo on a breakaway finds a way to beat Monday through the legs to make it 5-4 Markham. And if you decided to pencil in a victory here for Markham, it's a good thing. Pencils have erasers. Here comes the Toros on the power play. Evan Hay from the side of the net somehow finds a way to beat Garvin. And it ties things up at five and sets it up for a very dramatic finish. Cut out. Cut and get a pass. Carly at the blue line. Throwing it out of the back. Package shot from Cedar. Scores! Matthew Cedar on the power play. Backhands it in. His fourth of the game. And it's a big one right now. The Toes have taken a six to five lead. And it's a lead that Alan Mundy would help keep the final opportunity here for Markham coming at the side of the net. He's going to be a right pad save as he comes up huge. Toros come away with a 6-5 victory to start their tournament over Markham.